Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, so far this weekend, we've been dry, but I think that's going to change during the overnight hours as we have a cold front on the move headed into southern New England. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're scanning Newport right now and Block Island, Narragansett, all dry in those locations, dry across all of southeastern New England right now. But our threat tracker for tonight, it remains low. Same for tomorrow as well. I think it's going to stay on the low side, despite the chance for some rain showers staying low for Monday. Live pictures from Narragansett on the right-hand side of your screen. Perhaps you can make out uh, the Newport Bridge there. We still have some pretty good visibility. Live pictures from the Hurricane Barrier Cam. Here's the Highway Bridge. The upper reaches of Narragansett Bay looking calm. Looks like the tide's coming in. Temperature right now in Warwick, 52 degrees. Wind from the north northwest at light speed. Smithfield, a variable wind at the moment. They have a temperature a little bit cooler at 48. 45 degrees in Smithfield, the northern part of town. 46 in Gloucester, 48 Coventry, Newport, 50. 49 in both Fall River and New Bedford. Temperatures probably not falling too much farther during the night as we have a southerly wind in place. We have lots of clouds in place as well. We have some rain showers not too far away. Moving into the Capital District of New York right now. Showers all the way down through Pennsylvania. They'll be pushing into our area after midnight. And I think uh, for the most part, we're not really going to be looking at a widespread rain, but these showers will be around first thing in the morning. They might still be kind of lingering around noontime, but the cold front pushes offshore and then eventually drier air will be working its way in. Let's take a look at it with our future cast. Here we are at 8 o'clock this evening with mainly cloudy skies. Notice no green blobs until after midnight. We still see a couple of showers popping up 630 in the morning. The real bulk of the shower activity begins to arrive. A lot of it's kind of falling apart at that time as well. Still a couple of rain showers around at 1030 in the morning until about uh, uh, noontime or so. That's when we'll begin to see uh, the best chance of seeing a, a few showers. Notice in the afternoon we begin to see some clearing. Then we'll be seeing further clearing clearing for tomorrow night and into Monday. So your forecast for tonight, 47 degrees for your overnight low with showers late in the night, likely after midnight. Again, the evening looks dry. Eight o'clock tomorrow morning, some rain showers will be in the area. It'll be chilly, about 50 degrees or so at eight o'clock. And then in the afternoon, we'll begin to see a little bit of sunshine. Notice the temperature, not too bad, 64 degrees. It'll be fairly breezy as well with those winds turning into the west and eventually northwest, five to 15 miles an hour. Here's your seven day future cast. And if you're headed to the past game tomorrow. It'll be a mild day, fairly breezy as well at times. Some morning rain showers for you tailgaters, but I think the game will be dry with increasing sun. Monday, Tuesday looks dry. On Wednesday, we could be seeing the remnants of Hurricane Patricia working its way all the way up into southern New England. Uh, and uh, maybe some periods of heavy rain Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. Looks like we'll start the day dry on Wednesday, but by late day will be raining. Just a few leftover showers. Thursday, Friday and Saturday looking dry and cool with temperatures in the 50s. Be sure to download our WPRI Pinpoint Weather app. You can get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are. For your iPhone, iPad, Android devices, you can get it for free at the App Store, the Google Play Store. You can track those showers for early tomorrow and real time. I have to ask you, TJ, because we have a little bit of time. As somebody who's been doing this a long time, uh, having a Category 5 of that magnitude or that strength, fall apart as rapidly as she did. What do you think? Well, anytime a hurricane moves over land, they typically will fall apart uh, fairly quickly. But that one was powerful. If there was a Category 6, that storm was it because it was about the strongest you can ever see. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Still to come this evening, Brian.